Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 6th of 2022. Well, it is titled Milky Way Motion in 3D from Gaia. So what do we see here? Well, this is an entire sky image. So we are looking at the entirety of the sky here. And we see it here shaped out and color coded. And what we're looking at is information from the Gaia satellite, which has been observing the motions and positions of stars in the galaxy and doing this at a much higher accuracy than has ever been done before. Gaia is helping us determine distances to stars, something that is very difficult to determine accurately in astronomy and has now mapped out many millions of stars. And here we're looking at 26 million stars uh, in this map. Now the color coding is based on the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect has when has if the effect when objects are moving closer to each other, then the wavelengths are shifted towards shorter wavelengths or blue. And when things are moving away from each other, the wavelengths are shifted towards longer wavelengths or red colors. Now we're familiar with the Doppler effect in terms of sound. When a fire engine passes by you hear as it approaches a much higher pitch as the waves are compressed together to a shorter wavelength. And as it recedes, then every the waves are stretched out into a longer wavelength, giving you a much lower pitch. Well, the same thing can happen with light and does. So what we're seeing with the two main sections of the motion here, the blue off to the left, and the red to the right, is the motion of stars around the central portion of the galaxy. So that's showing us actually the motion around the galaxy. And that's just telling us that the stars are rotating around the galaxy in a disk. However, if we look at the center, things seem to be reversed. We have now blue on the right and the redder colors on the left. And that is actually caused by the sun's motion relative to the bar at the center of our galaxy. And that overwhelms in the overall overall motion that we see. So what we're learning about is really a trying to understand the history of our Milky Way galaxy and looking at how stars are moving today can tell us about what the galaxy may have been like long ago and help us to better understand how our galaxy formed and evolved and even how our sun formed many billions of years ago. So that was our picture of the day for July 6th of 2022. It was titled Milky Way Motion in 3D from Gaia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.